Whoa, come back. There's the merchant. Stop looking at me, mongrel. I have nothing you want. What? Back off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your cart. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people. He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. Tis only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. Fine. May your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. <coughs> A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Right. Fair enough. But only you. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. I just want flasks. Does he have no... He doesn't have... Really? That's disappointing. Um, switch over to her. How does that look? Magic staff does 4.8, that's 4.4. Nope. Alright. Well. There's another question mark over here. How dare you accuse me of thievery? I saw you take the supplies from my car. Do not seem a refugee. You part of the knowledge we left in the wild was horrifying. Enough! People here are the Marad is not it. Marad it was it. You aren't one of my captors. I have nothing to say that would amuse a dwarf. Leave me in peace. I'm in a cage, am I not? I've been placed here by the chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. Mercy? I wouldn't have expected that from you. I would also suggest that Alistair take his place in the cage. Yes. 
That's what I would have expected. <laughs> I suggest you leave me to my fate. No doubt. What help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. Eaten alive by Darkspawn. That's cruel. I wonder why the Revealed Blood is so afraid of him. Off to the Chantry to talk to the Revealed Mother. Okay, let's get the big brute. Probably not going to use him because I like our current setup. But there's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main hall. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach, Sir Donald. Is that you, Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to Turn Logain. If Al Eamon were well, he'd set Logain straight soon enough. But if Al Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon, and tell the Arlesa exactly that, once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and travelling companion. He is delayed, though. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. <laughs> With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy. As when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. A word to spare the weary. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. A great number of people could be fed and clothed for a fraction of your finery. But you must do as your heart wills. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. 
Why did he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Your custody. And who might you be? A Grey Warden. Oh dear, I will have to ask you to leave before you bring trouble on our heads. You have not heard. The Tern claims that the Grey Wardens are responsible for the King's death. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Again, you are quite fascinated with the creature. What do you wish to know? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. To defend against the blight, perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. The Maker cares no less for that Tanari's victims than for thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. Really? Come on! And when the chance spreads across all things... Yes. What can I do for you now? Again, we have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. I cannot. Grey Warden, though you may be. Please leave the Kunari to his fate. Now we threaten... Whoa, whoa! Let's not get out... What is the meaning of this? Your reverence, please. We are on an important mission. I see. And if not, I am to be assaulted. No, your reverence. I will not allow that to happen. I have more important matters. Got it! I'm actually going to be getting rid of Alistair, because I think we're going down the uh, slightly angrier route. <laughs> Angry little dwarf. For a change based on the points. Hell yeah. Okay. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch? You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. And once I am free, you expect me to go with you. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Hell yeah. Uh, bye-bye. Yes. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, and then inventory for him. Drogo can have belts? <gasps> um, actually. It's a two handed weapon guy like me. Hmm. How do we change party? <laughs> <laughs> um, Stun. It's a warrior. It's Quinari. Strength is massive. Okay. I heard what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Caitlin, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Warden. <laughs> She lives! <laughs> This should be easy enough. Vinak Hall. What? Many hands are descended from pack hunters and like nights and stay a honey influenced by primary method of timing without orders by claiming terrorist for a three cent marking major landmarks. When someone at the moment only gains a substantial increase in confidence is actually within its territory. <laughs> Ah! As you wish.
Nice. Decked out. Okay. Okay. Healing would be helpful now. This should be easy enough. Okay. Blessed are the peacekeepers. Don't care. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? This will help many people. Okay. So Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandra. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wool. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. Though I faint spot, I suspect. There's more excitement on your path than my boy and I could handle. 
Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune, sir. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? <laughs> Such a good boy. Give us a certain part of me, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saving game. Yes. Now we need to decide where we go. Do we go Red Cliff? I don't know. But while it's loading, I'll end the episode here. Oh, no. Cutscene. Dun, dun, dun. Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. <laughs> I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. I love it. He's not part of our party at the moment. I really want to know how to change. Oh. Ah, all your all your parties introduce the hero, and you say each party member can be found somewhere in the camp, making it ideal that you can hand out new equipment. Oh. What do you need? don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it. Not with so much as riding on us. Not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him, in the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. <laughs> yes. I think he came from High Ever, or so he said. Maybe I'll go up there sometime, to see about putting up something in his honor. Dwarves don't practice cremation, do they? How do your people honor your dead? I heard about that, now that I think about it. Their spirits return to the rock, strengthening the foundation of the tide. It sounds so strange. I suppose you're right. Thank you. Really, 
I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Okay. So I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. I'd like to subscribe and support the notification bell to keep up to date. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!